video i'm going to uh, give a detail about two one is how to analyze the requirement and how to write a test case so you can consider like uh, if you are looking for the uh, tutorial on how to write a test case this will be really helpful and um, here the test case is for the automotive all right so automotive requirement um, let's see what are the contents been included all right so here it's a very simple uh, one line statement so most of the times the requirement will be like this of course that recommend document will be uh, have a huge um, you know, more number of pages or the huge paragraphs but coming to an individual requirement most of the times it will be on a one or two lines and for that there will be some other description file as well as some other signal or descriptions file and uh, so many supporting documents will be there but the the initial the origin is the one line or two line requirement so here let's see uh, the this requirement is for the rain light sensor okay it is actually it is in the car here the requirement is a one line um, that is the requirement from the customer it's a um, you know the imaginary the assumption requirement if the sensor detects the rain okay when the, when the car is on a motion when when the driver is driving a car if the sensor that is the rain light sensor is uh, one which uh, will be located in this there is the um, rear view mirror all right so if the sensor detects rain that is we have um, the requirements is for three kind of um, rain either it's a drizzling or a moderate rain or a heavy rain then it should activate the wiper automatically as per the requirement all right the so one line so let's after you re, uh, you have gone through these kind of recommend it's a responsibility to uh, you know surf more about the particular functionality and you have to uh, come to your understanding so before analyzing the requirement let me give a very short um, note on how to judge and or how to make your mindset before you are writing any test cases all right so for this um, see I'll just see first you have to be much clear about input all right input then you have to be much clear about the logic all right so input logic so input means it's inputs so many inputs it may be there or uh, two or three input or even one input also there uh, but definitely you have to be uh, under good understandable about the inputs so what are the inputs you have to identify then logic so before identifying the logic you can identify output again output also one or two or many okay it depends so in, in our case i'll just explain with one output and next comes is your logic so output it should be very clear then logic so if you are clear about this then your test case is almost 30 percent of your test case has been uh, completed from your mindset all right so for this i'll just give one simple example then we'll go uh, in deep for the rain light sensor consider you have uh, and gate and gate is the requirement so and gate logic you know right so it is input two input and one output so uh, here a b and you can see uh, consider y so it's a very uh, basic so school level example so here what are the possible combination of the inputs one one or one zero zero one zero zero so these are all the set of inputs for the two input um, uh, condition i mean two input block and this is the logic so what is the logic it's a multiplication is the logic for the and gate this is the and gate and output you know it's a only one so y okay a b and y so here the logic you know it's a multiplication one into one 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 into zero 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 into one zero zero into zero zero so this will be your output so for this you can easily write the test cases all right so similarly if you understand the logic it's very easy to write the test case so now here what we, in this video what we are going to uh, discuss how to analyze the requirement and how to write the test case all right so i'll write the test case from the scratch here in this page I'll, i will write the test case i mean maybe in the next i'll open another sheet here i'll write the test case from the scratch 
before that let's understand the logic and the working of the rain light sensor okay so this this in uh, the, like this the requirement will be there maybe the details may be less or even still more but our our intention is to understand all right so here again once again you can read okay here we have the statement so we'll read again okay if the sensor detects the rain there is maybe a drizzling moderate rain or a heavy rain then it should activate the uh, wiper motor automatically as per the requirement and here we have another input uh, input these are all kind of a, a set of input documents uh, requirement documents here we have the requirement documents uh, called coding sheet okay so it will be like a separate document but for your simpler understanding i have uh, taken only the few points here so the coding sheet will be like this in this coding sheet what exactly it will be there is it will be the input and output okay so that the logic won't be here okay logic will be if i have to get from the requirement so here input they are given if it is snow or fog or drizzling and they will give some signal name that also will see what what kind of signal name it will be that will uh, see when we are writing the test cases okay so the input is snow fog or drizzling if any of these happens then the can will uh, identify the sensor um, sends the can signal to one if it is a moderate rain it will send the value to two if it is a heavy rain it will be three so if if no fog or drizzling then the wiper motor speed will be low if it is medium it will be seven that is six seven if it is heavy rain then it will be eight all right so that is wiper motor speed should be eight this is what the requirement is and uh, here why i have mentioned the, these things i have is you have to understand see when you are writing a test case you should not understand only the input and output you have to understand the logic and you have to uh, get thorough knowledge about the real time requirement even though you your requirement doesn't have these you have to get from other steps and you have to understand okay so why i have given these images to uh, to make you understand the sensor will be kept here it will be kept here okay in the in in, in this place like a rear view mirror right so here then it's a system level understanding okay here hardware input so this is the actually rain light sensor if you google rain light sensor this will be the stuff and even in this we have a number of layers you just google and see you'll get this kind of image and in this you'll have so many things like photoelectric sensor um, then infrared sensor because it's a rain light sensor it will sense the rain as well as light so that the output will be to the wiper as well as to the headlight but here we will discuss about only rain all right and this is a hardware output so it's a wiper motor it will be present here so whenever the whenever it senses the drizzling uh, to, via can it will send one so the logic will understand it is a drizzling and it will give the output here to six so six means it will the motor wiper speed will be low and seven means it's a medium eight means it is um, fast one second yeah okay so on a conventional method how it will be it is manually we have to if you're uh, if you have uh, exposed with the cars uh, real car you can come to know you have to adjust with the regulators but this is a requirement from the customer for the auto so usually it will uh, it will be in a high-end vehicles all right so this is our basic understanding like this you have to analyze so this is very straight and also i explained so it may be very straight some requirements will be very complex those kind of requirements also we will be um, will um, see in our upcoming uh, tutorials so now this part is clear now we'll see how to write the test cases all right if you have any doubts you can you can always leave a comment so that um, i'll take the point to discuss with you so uh, coming to the test case writing um, the basics of the test case writing is um, you should not you should not assume anything whatever in the requirement that you have to follow if it is not clear then you have to raise a requirement clarification never assume it's a one principle of testing all right the testing uh, test case or writing also comes under the testing only so every organization or every project has their own template you have to follow the template and here i'll just give some kind of a demo template so it's almost this uh, what are the contents are given in this template it will be in almost all the all other stuffs all other programming or all or project related or organization template will be like this so let me just uh, start with the template okay 
so first here comes his test case id you have to give the id because when you are testing this id speaks then requirement linked so you have this particular test case you are writing is being linked to which requirement that also it should be very clear all right so with this only you can come to know the requirement coverage is 100 percent or not so this very is a must to link the perfect requirement what you are writing all right it should not be like a random requirement the, this test case is related to which requirement that you have to mention then test case title then then test case description all right then here we have uh, preconditions then test steps so after the test steps immediately you have to mention the expected output then actual output so this is for the, the execution the execution time it should it should present so when, when writing only you have to give this and leave blank actual output then you have test result and comments test results either it may be passed or fail or not tested also you have to mention then comments this is also mandatory because uh, everything um, you, you you can't write uh, in, in any of these places Be, uh, so for that the comment section you have to mention here you can write on your own language like for example if it is failed you can have to you can write why it is failed so that if some other testers or some other some of your colleagues check this uh, report they can understand easily and if it is something is not tested for that also you have to write why it is not tested maybe the requirement is not applicable for your release it may be the deferred requirement deferred means for the upcoming releases the requirement has been written or um, there may be some inputs are not clear for this requirement and the issue, uh, issue has been raised for the requirement issue has been raised so you cannot you can't able to test so whatever it is you have to write here all right so these are the this is the uh, basic syntax that uh, you can you can consider you can I I am follow in my project okay so my my demo project so let's see test case ID so you can start always you can start with the um, ID where the previous one has been completed but here we doesn't have anything so I'll write with zero 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 one this is the test case ID and requirement linked what I'll write is say for example consider this requirement uh, number is some uh, rain light sensor right so what i'll do is like i'll like r l s that is rain light sensor underscore some one four two three okay so this is one requirement this requirement speaks about the explanation then here coding sheet so this is also requirement maybe in the in the requirement context it may be as a comment but still you will have some number for this even for this heading you will have the requirement id say consider you can make it a zero and you can make it as this one one and here you can make it as something like uh, four five then so everything okay and have this all together will be a single require a single requirement so this is one is fine and here similarly yeah so now what i what what i'll do is say i'll write for the every uh, no, for every uh, requirement, for every test case I am writing, so this all one, two, three, four, five requirements will be linked. So what I'll do is I'll okay. Anyhow, later later part of time will will link. Okay. So first I I'll understand the logic and I'll write the test case title. Okay. So coming to the understanding, very simple. What you have to do is you have to give one. Okay. Just imagine you are driving a car. At that time, some snow, fog, or drizzling, anything is coming. So, your your wiper starts to, uh, your wiper motor starts to, uh, you know, wipe on a lower speed. So it has it has to be activated. Immediately, what happens? The rain starts on a moderate level. So how the rain will um, will be judged as a moderate level or a high or low 
or drizzling that that has been uh, coded in the um, the rain light sensor that you don't want to worry about that so the, there will be some the intensity or the um, uh, you know the um, uh, wetness in the air that 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 those factors has been comes into the transmitter and the sensor so anyhow here you have to understand is it may be drizzle and uh, after some time it may be start to rain then it may be heavy rain then suddenly it may stop that time you can mention as zero okay here also I, i'll add another point the can input will be zero if it is no input then wiper has to stop that i'll add here wiper motor stop so this one i'll give as five here no rain here i'll give as zero suddenly the rain stops then it will become zero so so these are all the things can be happen when the person is driving a car okay so all these can be tested in a single test case so by just by validating this as a single test case you mean to test here is the transition whether the transition is hap has been happening properly or not whether the developer has coded the transition properly or not correctly or not that you can come to know here by writing this test case so for that let's start okay um so anyhow i'll write this i'll write this and the coding sheet also i'll write so all these requirements i'll just write here on a requirement linked usually we we write on a excel even though if you have if you want to write in any other tools you have to write in excel then you can upload over there that is a good practice so that you will you will not uh, create any um, you know wrong stuffs or um, anything in the tool directly because the tool may be visible to your customers and to higher officials that's why so it should in your excel only you have to complete your uh, test case writing with you with among you or your uh, your uh, reviewer or the peer reviewer or your uh, you know the buddy reviewer buddy checks whatever it is so those are all software testing related concepts okay so test case title what title i can mention i can i can mention like uh, the validation of let's think before that i'll just yeah so validation of rls rain light sensor or you can mention uh, no no need of rls rain light sensor input range from uh, it'll start with or validation of rain light sensor with all the possible valid transitions so it's your, it should be in your own language no issues on that but it should be understandable to everyone okay they should that you should not use you know complex uh, words and all because you, your intention is to validate the software so maybe the software can be the test case execution can be done by some other person so it should be understandable to everyone so you have to use a decent language vocabulary so you should not go with the uh, no um, um, it should not be a idioms and phrases and all it should be a very direct so validation of rain light sensor with all possible valid transitions okay so all the transition you will do that to valid valid transition it should not be an invalid transition all right um fine then this oh sorry this uh, this is a test case title so in this um, test uh, case description you can still write so i'll just um, add some more point here in this test case test case the validation of okay the validation of rain light sensor with all possible um with all possible valid transition uh, i'll mention like when no fault present in the system okay system 
with the variant coded i'll mention um a1 g h phi so this is the variant just assume this is a variant so for this variant and here you can add in the requirement okay so maybe the another requirement will be there this particular thing has to be work on this variant only so here i can mention i'll write or less mm, nine nine variant variant support is so this is the variant should support has been given by the customer okay so then this particular requirement link also has to be mentioned here yes so here the test case description looks fine all right if you have any other points also you can write no issues all right mm, then precondition so what precondition should be there so this and all it should be a bit understand like you should have some prior experience if not you can gain like these kind of trainings or uh, some senior testers has been already written the test cases right so you can follow how in what manner they have written so you can uh, just refer that before writing so here uh, what I'll do is I'll just mention the ECU to be functional to be to be functional then coming here um, system should be fall free be fault free yes definitely there should not be any fault because uh, if there is any fault then your validation will not be proper on this scenario on the positive scenario that we are writing then coming to the next point is the variant should be the variant what we have is this is the variant right okay not this the variant this should be coded all right yeah so yeah so next test steps so here you can mention this is step one step two like that in precondition step one precondition step two precondition step three all right um, okay looks good next is test steps here impo here the important thing because as per this see the inputs you are very much clear what are the inputs these are all the inputs these are all input and these are all the output okay so here comes is the logic what logic that also you know it is one to one one input one output like that one input and so write this how i'll write let's see here step one step one uh, power on the ECU and set the voltage to operating voltage uh, see power on power on the ECU and set voltage to 12 volt so usually we used to follow the voltage called 12 volt all right uh, so it is an ideal voltage so I have written this then step two Uh, send diagnostic request because here we have mentioned system should be fault free so you have to ensure whether the system is fault free or not how we will ensure you have to send the diagnostic request okay so send diag request 19 the 19 service you always to send right so 19 19 0 to 0 8 okay 0 to is a sub function to retrieve all the DTCs by status mask what is status mask here 0 it is a status mask all right then step 3 uh, we can write like send send 
send the can input input signal what signal let's discuss on that same now before that i will i'll just complete the phrase send the can signal can input signal um particular thing okay uh to okay yeah send the can input signal here we can see maybe the requirement can be like this um input signal here we have right here only i'll write the signal can be like example can um, i and is uh, ln rain light mention uh, rain. Some, something some signal instead um, can mention like instead, uh, tx we can mention this is a transmitter so tx because it is an input right so it will transmit so i have given like this this is the input so how i'll do I mention like the send the can input signal that is this is a signal to one all right so I just mention like so here still you have to write some um, clarity so what this one is so it, it is not mandatory to write what the one and all but still uh, your intention is to make the your next tester also should feel comfortable with this test case so he can definitely have to refer the he or she have to refer the requirement but still for your sake you can write it here note this particular signal some people will not write this because next time the same value will will not present they may change the values okay but still this is kind of uh, optional note this can tx one one means it is a drizzling drizzling snow or fog or anything okay so you have to write the first uh, one now now comes here is second i'll just copy the same step four so transition right so now it is a drizzling now we are going for a going to validate the um, moderate rain moderate rain so moderate rain is two the input is two 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 and comes here is heavy rain it is five it is three Three. Heavy rain. Heavy rain. Then, so one, two, 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 three. Again, we can we can mention three, two. So our our aim is to cover all the transition. So what I have to do, I'll just write. Next is three, two, two. I'll mention. Now it is three. I'll mention two. So two means I'll just copy and paste the same. So if you find the logic you can do this copy paste game and it will be fine so 3 to 2 again 2 to 1 also we can write so some people used to write these uh, on a multiple test cases that to beginners okay so that is not a good habit we have to cover we have to reduce the test cases and increase the uh, multiple the transitions and all you have to increase on a single thing okay so that is always good so 1 2 2 1 2 3 3 2 2 1 then 1 2 3 is happened or not no then 3 2 1 also not happen so what i'll do is i'll write 1 2 3 this is a 1 and i'll write the transition 3 all right uh, then 3 2 1 also we can write so of course exhaustive pause exhaustive testing is impossible like that we can um, validate for up to certain scenarios that too should be some critical scenarios not everything so now uh, i can write like zero what happens after this one if it is zero it should stop right it should stop so anyhow that is on our expected output here i'll mention zero zero means no rain no rain all right 
so enough so when we can write still we can write like 0 to 3 what happens if heavy rain starts so here you can write here so the the combinations can be uh, hectic you can write as much as you can under the valid condition if it is valid there is no harm on writing a number of steps all right uh, zero, uh, zero to three. So, so enough for this understanding the KT session. This is enough. I can write still a, a number of scenarios also. So, or you can also do like this. You can, what you can do is in the test case title, you can do like uh, from no rain to moderate rain. It's a one title. Next is no rain to heavy rain. Then no rain to um, drizzling. Like that also you can do. No issues. So you are at the end your mindset to cover all the scenarios. That's it. All right. So now input test in test steps has been done. Now expected out what are what all the things has been expected. All right. See, so very simple. If you are sending the request, what you have to do? The response. You should get the response. All right. Uh, step one. In step one, your response should or no response in step one. Anyhow, that it will be turned on. So you don't want to validate anything. Maybe. If still you want to write, you can write like um, ECU is powered on. But usually people will not do that because the basic thing, right? If you turn on the fan, it should it should run. That's it. So anyhow, that we can be there is a basic thing. So I'll write from step two. The step two uh, diag uh, response. Diag response is diag response should be fifty nine. 0 to 0 8 that's it 0 0 that means no DTC presence right so that should be your first I um, mean second step then here comes is 